fitting side windows to a 2013 VW Caddy Maxi. This one, passenger side, will be an opening tinted glass window and driver side a fixed limo tint window. So I'll start with these. It's dead easy. Your, your guide is the inner section here, which should be the manufacturer's point to put windows. I use a metal nibbler. You've got a fixed end and that's the fixed end and a rotating end. I use this to keep the drill in the set position and just go around any angle. Means you can turn the drill this way if you're over here. Just gives a nice, very neat edge. Doesn't distort the metal. I've seen people with grinders, reciprocating saws. It just trashes the outer edge, which makes the window fitting more difficult. And sometimes, maybe on this one, the, when the metal's out, you need to push this section forward to meet up with the outer section there to put the U-trim on. There's loads of different ways of doing it. As long as the U-trim goes on, the window fits flush. Job done. So I'll start with the holes in the corner here. Okay, it's a pilot hole done. And basically, when the drill is connected, the cutting edge is the gap there. So through the hole, fits into the metal edge. And off you go. So twisting. I've done a few videos on this on transporters, transits. I think I've done a, a caddy as well, I'm not too sure. Just round like that till you've got the hole. That's the first one out. What I do next is get rid of all of these little chippings the nibbler takes out. They hurt like hell when you step on them, they go through your shoes, your socks, everything. Let's go around to that side. See there, it gives a really good, clean edge. You pretty much can run your finger down it. What I do there is a, with a file, tidy that up. Um, there's a slight, I changed the battery there on the drill, so I just file that little edge off. Yeah, you can angle if you need to get a little bit closer to this inner section. Angle it down this way slightly, and you get a bit closer. If you've got decent U trim, you don't need to do that. And here, I went a bit, little bit too far that way. Again, the U-trim will cover that and I need to take off this outer lock section. But that'll be the first fixed window going in there. Cut that other one out now. So, job done, no drama, both out. Took uh, about 20 minutes with the vacuuming. I always make sure I vacuum in this gully as well. You tend to get a load in there. <coughs> And over the years, it might rot out this section. So, yeah. 1960s air conditioning. Yeah, that's the hard bit, actually. There's the bit, the, uh, the nibbler tool in the drill there. Pilot hole, bigger hole. Fit it through, cut it out, job done. Uh, yeah, the rest is prep. Obviously, the window treatment and the glue will go on the glass but it'll hit it sort of here or it will if I track it with my finger I always do it as close to the edge there as possible <clears throat> so next job get this edge sanded little bits off treated anti-rust panel wipe or actually fast thinners on the metal work, get that as clean as possible, and then onto the glass. Prep the glass with the, I think they're alcohol strips in the uh, kit. Get the glass nice and clean, warm the glue up, put the glue on the edge of the glass, and then stick it on. This is going to, it'll fit nice and flush in this, and tell from the recess there, and then tape, maybe four pieces of tape just to hold the glass steady. So I'll go around the edge there now, and then get onto the Get the workbench set up and get onto the glass. There's a 
flat edge for the uh, curve for the sides there. That's the EU trim added. Let's get the piece I'll cut off there. That goes onto the two panel skins and I use the primer you get with the window kit to treat the metal edge before the U trim goes on. And that's the driver's side. I did go around and bring these two pieces in together. We can see the U trim there. It's not that it won't go on, it's that when it is on, it's splayed out and you don't get a flush fit when you, it just doesn't look right either side. <clears throat> so, a pair of plumber's grips, I normally put a plank of wood either side so it brings it together neat instead of sort of denting all the way up and down. And you can get that, as long as it's within about two, three mil, the T-trim will go over nice and neat. Okay, that's the <clears throat> edge trim all on, that side as well. Just offering the glass up there, you can see that the gap is nice and flush. So I'll clean it all up, clean the glass up, put the primer on, put the glue on, <clears throat> and do this one first. So with the primer daub things, wherever they are, just go around, obviously with primer on, the edge there, and where you're going to, I go sort of about there. Do that first. And then with the uh, primer wipe, <clears throat> I think they're alcohol cloths. You can see here where I've handled it, all that has to come off. All the way around there, and then prime the glass, put the glue on. I normally cut these down, just that tiny little bit there seems to give a better, nice pointed edge. And as a tip with this stuff, I mean, I've got a tube there under my um, paint drying lamp, warm it up. Um, if you're lucky you're doing it in the summer then just leave it in the sun but the warmer this is I mean you need a heavy duty one of these anyway or better still a battery operated gun can't afford one of them yet so use this and that comes out a lot easier so that's around the van and the glass all primed up leave that to dry for a bit that's the company I use for the kit Yeah, the 278 on the price, which is uh, it's pretty good for a solid fixed and a side opener. Uh, especially if you're fitting it yourself, it's good value. There's two or three companies on eBay that sell this kit, as in two, two standards, two fixed or two openers or mix and match, whatever. I've used them all. I've used them for T4s, T5s, transits. Uh, I think I've done a caddy before with it. It's, uh, it's all stamped up and everything there. Nice, good kit. That's the glue on. Be a bit neater with uh, a, uh, a drill. Um, the powered ones, basically. So, yeah, not as neat as somebody doing it for a living, but as long as it doesn't leak, all good. That's the first one in the fixed. Some tape across here to keep it in situ that way and there. Let's manage to get a bit on the body here to get that off with thinners when I clean it or you know, polishing up should get that actually. It's inevitable. Same down here, the uh, primer thinners in there when it's dry. That's a nice neat job, pulling this bottom section in slightly, 
a little bit bowed on the bottom there. Yeah, all good. So onto the opener. Onto the opener for the passenger side next. But yeah, they look good on the caddy. It gives it a bit of uh, kind of shortens the van back down a bit. And the passenger side opener in. Again, nice and flush. Keep the tape on for a bit. I notice with these though, this kit, very slightly out at the back, bottom here. So if you fit in, just hold it in there with a bit of tape. And uh, yeah, nitpicking really is. I mean, it's, yeah, that's it, excellent. Lovely. The handle there goes from the, the back, and you've got the cover plate here. Fit that when it's dried. So I'll give that an hour, maybe just over. Get the tape off, take a couple of pictures. Done. Really good flush finish. The opener there clicks over when it closes. on the inside a bit dark but you get the point I've taken the cards off I've just covered those and the rear doors decided to take this stuff off I'll have a go at tinting it I've got some uh, normally it doesn't work so I'll get somebody to do that if I can't do it myself and I'm just going to put this thin little edge trim door edge trim I've got on that which will tidy up these edges and I'll carpet up to there so windows in a caddy so until next time whatever you're doing or whatever you're thinking of doing 